Chehala School District offers advanced classes in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics to spark a new generation of scientists. But it's got a percent double dot wave. I'm trying to develop something that's never really been done before. From computer programming to advanced molecular genetics to robotics, WF West High School students are challenged to think for themselves, thanks in part to the Chehalis Foundation. Right here, right now, our students are gaining a cutting edge advantage over any similar students probably anywhere in the world. These high level but expensive programs give students advanced educational opportunities not often seen at the high school level. We just need a place to store something. Where do we store things? In Carrie Painter's Advanced Mathematics program, students who've already completed calculus are now learning computer programming with a product called MATLAB. It's saving these as a file and then it's wave reading. Students who learn the programming language may be able to translate their knowledge into a job. Of what? So if I already have a skill on how to use MATLAB, that's very useful. They're actually uh, trying to solve problems, they're trying to analyze data, they're forming their own questions and kind of coming up with their own conclusions. What my eventual goal is, is I would uh, take a recording of a whole crowd of voices and use, somehow use a big program to have the computer recognize the single voice and be able to pick it out of the crowd. Across campus, teacher Henry Weeks has been offering a molecular genetics class for several years, thanks to private funds that pay for the expensive lab equipment. My project that I'm working on is the renovation of ethanol and the enzymes that break down the, the substance that you're going to use. Normally we use corn, but maybe if we had really efficient enzymes, we could use wood, we could use corn stalks, we could use waste. This is no average biology or chemistry class, but instead an advanced college level class that exposes students to equipment and methods of investigation unheard of at the high school level. The relationship that I have with my advanced kids is, is no longer a teacher to student. It's a conversation back and forth. That's what happens at the university level. WF West High School invites neighboring high schools every year to experience Biotech Day. Weeks' students provide hands-on demonstrations to other students hoping to spark their interest in molecular genetics. Henry Weeks is so good at what he does, he has been recognized with the KCTS 9 Golden Apple Award for Excellence in Education in 2010. This kind of research-based learning requires expensive equipment beyond the school district's budget. Funding to sustain the award-winning model is always a challenge. It's consistently twenty to 30000 a year just in supplies, and that doesn't count the equipment. So without the support of the foundation and the good folks that donate to our program, we really could not do this. Everything's at the bottom. Just this year, the Chehalis Foundation bought the school a real-time PCR machine, allowing students to learn to map and identify DNA genes. I mean, I'm very thankful to the Chehalis Foundation and uh, all the people that are a part of that that have so generously uh, made this possible and keep making it possible. Welcome to the World Championship in St. Louis. What if learning science and technology could be more like a sports event? It can. WF West High School students now participate in a nationwide competition to build robots and program them to compete on a game field. High school students across the country all received a box of game materials but no instructions for the competition. Six weeks later, Team Swag competed at the Seattle Cascade Regional. An innovative crossbar designed to shoot baskets proved very successful. Most of the time we were scoring most points for our alliances, we were scoring most of the baskets. The rookie team impressed their competition so much they were chosen to compete in the quarterfinals and made it all the way to the semifinals. It was an organization that re-promoted, like, for lack of a better word, the intellectuals instead of like, um, you know, sports and stuff, the more athletic stuff. It is only through the support of the Chehalis Foundation that these extracurricular programs can take root in schools. Like if you invest something, you will get out something. And Chehalis Foundation really like invested money to like make the future of students of Chehalis WFS High School. 
and inspire youth involvement in science and engineering. The advanced math and science programs are popular with WF West students because they see the results with former students now in college and in careers. Yeah, I don't know anyone else that gets the opportunity to do this. We're really fortunate to have programs like this. I appreciate it so much. It is only through the support and vision of private funders who see the value of this ongoing effort. They know their financial support is leveraged into real learning in the classroom. And that leads to future careers in math and science for Chehala students. If you think that's a good thing for the country, if you think it's a good thing for public schools, if you think it's a good thing for a group of, of young people here in Chehalis, then it's worth getting behind. Chehalis School District. Learners today. Leaders tomorrow.